Okay, hello everybody, it's Jerry here once again and yeah, I hope you're doing well, I hope you are uh, no, no. Eh, eh, I don't know Yeah, I hope you are um, um, eh, getting on with life appropriately as the year even comes to an end Devil fly But yes, yes I want to share this thing you see how um, um, at times, as especially personally, I'm a church boy. Okay, what that means is like I'm probably going to attend church and do stuff at church than go and do or go for a party or them stuff. That, that's that's how I am. I'm a straight up church boy, church boy from day one. Even if I'm not going to do anything, I'll rather be at church. And just sit there and you know go out or do something I don't know that's how I am and I realized that there are people who keep their church life private and by church life I don't mean praying and all of that but there are people who try and mask their um, um, their faith with for example for example yes if some sister a is going for church service and she's in the midst of people who don't necessarily go to church or aren't necessarily believers she would rather tell them she's going somewhere than tell them that she's going to church or make people um aware of what she believes in now aside the um the evangelistic aspect of telling people about church and all of that this is one thing that i've realized goes on um when you tell people that you are dead on for church it almost serves as an auto corrector in terms of attitude and all of that because as soon as because this is something that always happens to me especially with um when i was a student and when i started working working get up <laughs> yeah when i started working when you start veering off the the right when you start veering off the track of um um, um a christ-like human being and you start becoming more like someone from earth for example when um um personally i'm a music person as well i'm planning of doing something like music reaction videos or something but i'll pray about it and we'll see what happens but if there was a time where um, um, some of the my friends, also my students, student friends, yes. Whenever they had to play some music out loud or something, or whenever I'm suggesting music to them, they straight up know that this guy is probably going to bring up some gospel track up, or or when we are going to play football on Saturday, Jerry is probably not gonna come. Why? Because he has rehearsal or he has to go to church. And, and 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 you see Jerry in a hurry to leave work because he's been called to church to go and do something and all of that. So as soon as you start getting off this particular track, they quickly go like, ah, but church boy. I know some the boys here, some my workplace, some of the church boy and, and things like that. It if at any point in time you have something like this in your life and you feel like it's a bad thing you definitely have a problem because it's God's special way of keeping you in check if as a boy right you're texting with a girl and you start you know entering territories you're not supposed to enter and the girl quickly brings up a, uh, um, a caption like a hey, man of God you see all of a sudden it like it like brings you back on track and it helps you you know get back in line with the right thing so yeah i'll advise everyone not just boys girls also girls old young what is this? <laughs> old young whatever that keep your faith talk about your faith be public about your faith because it is what can help you walk in it that's the people around you they can help you um stay in track and yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah that's, that's the advice i have for today have more i mean god keeps talking there's always more in god there's never a finished 
uh, information or whatever but yes god bless you flex your faith and see you in the next one bye bye peace